NetApp is a leading manufacturer of enterprise storage devices. We approximately have 8,000 employees across the globe. We operate in 104 different field offices in 40 different countries. Revenues in 2008 were in the range of $3.3 billion. One of our big key initiatives is to maintain and operate our our buildings as efficiently as possible to help us reduce our energy costs. The benefit to that is, is one, we reduce our energy bill and we also reduce our carbon footprint. So one of the challenges with our green corporate initiatives was what are some of the other things that we could do to help the corporation reduce its energy and its carbon footprint on a daily basis, not just in our office spaces, but within our data centers and our labs. Pacific Gas and Electric Company, otherwise known as PG&E, is one of the six largest utilities in the country. One of the challenges from PG&E is to always make power available so that we don't run into the rolling blackouts that we did years ago. So the automated demand response is actually a partnership between the utilities and industrial and commercial companies to reduce their load. The utility will send a signal out automatically through the internet to all these different buildings and based off of the strategies that are programmed into their systems will reduce that lighting and air conditioning so that it reduces whatever load a company nominates to reduce. They're compensated for participation in the program as well as then compensated for the energy we do not consume. So the Cisco Mediator's key role is its interaction between the utility and our building automation systems. The Cisco Mediator provides the interface from the signals that we receive through the utility. Their server sends a signal to Mediator, which then initiates these scripts. It automatically talks to the system. Basically within 20 minutes, we have reduced a full megawatt of load reduction, and that's based off of 50% reduction in lighting, four degree reset in office space temperatures and two degrees on chill water systems for labs and data centers. The Cisco Mediator, its ease of use is very robust, minor training, and we're basically up and running and the guys can maintain it very well. We had one goal and objective to start off with, and that was the automated demand response program. We have now broadened that range and scalability, really capitalizing on the Cisco Mediator to go far beyond that. It works as a middleware to bring together systems that don't have protocols that can communicate directly with other systems. In addition, we use it as a, a platform to allow our users and operators to access the data that we're acquiring. Anybody with any type of web browser can get in and actually view real-time data. We're going in and we're grabbing IT information interfacing to the actual racked equipment, getting temperature values, CPU utilization, power uh, consumption of that equipment. We can see what fan speeds are doing internal to the equipment. It allows us to aggregate data and, and then utilize that data to operate more efficiently. The long-term goal for us is to be as efficient as possible, save energy, and reduce our carbon footprint. Here on the Sunnyvale site at corporate headquarters, I have 19 mediators installed throughout the buildings now. I have 26 deployed globally. Its ROI basically has been a year or less. Based off of that, we have reduced 18 million kilowatt hours of energy reduction to date. That equates to an estimated uh, over $2 million in savings of energy costs. And a Cisco mediator is a key factor in, in being able to implement a lot of those strategies and efficiencies. We did receive a, a significant amount of money in the area of about $1.4 million in, in rebates associated with the energy efficiency measures that we implemented. I still believe we have scratched the surface in its abilities. I think there's a lot more that can be tapped into, and I think it's just a matter of working with the Cisco team. The platform itself has a variety of flexibility that our typical building management system doesn't allow for. It's really become sort of the evolution for the next generation of building management systems. The Cisco Mediator was essentially an investment that was well worth it.